Today's personal computers provide drive bays designed to hold a storage device such as a floppy disk drive, hard disk drive, tape drive, or optical drive. External drive bays can be accessed from outside the case, so they will typically house drives for removable media, floppy disks, tapes, CDs, and DVDs. Drive bays come in several sizes. Five and a quarter inch wide bays typically house optical drives and tape drives. Smaller, three and a half inch wide drive bays are designed for floppy, zip, and super disk drives. On a new computer, several external bays will already contain drives, but usually one or more external bays will be empty in case you want to add a storage device. Although you can begin installing a drive from outside the case, you will need to get inside the system unit to complete the installation. You will need to secure the drive to the case, and you will need to plug the drive's data cable into the motherboard. Once the drive is installed, you can close up the case. While we have the case open, let's take a look at the internal drive bays. An internal drive bay provides a parking space for a hard disk drive. Because a hard disk is sealed inside of the drive mechanism, it is not necessary to access it from outside the case in order to insert and remove disks. Many desktop computers feature more than one drive bay in case you want to install a second hard disk drive. As with an external drive, an internal drive needs to be secured to the drive bay and the drive cables need to be plugged into the motherboard.